My name is Jewel Thompson. I'm an assistant lecturer of entrepreneurship at Ashesi University and also one of the co-leads for the Ashesi Venture Incubator. The Ashesi Venture Incubator is a one-year incubation program geared towards graduating seniors as well as alumni of Ashesi University. It was our vision to create this incubator to provide an opportunity for those who were aspiring entrepreneurs or those who already were pursuing entrepreneurial endeavors to have the opportunity to take one year to focus on the development of their businesses. This is critical because we know here in Ghana, there are likelihood of a business seeing success after a period of three years is relatively little. So for us, we wanted to de-risk the entrepreneurial journey to ensure that our students as well as our alumni had an opportunity to continue on the path to economic contributions and progress through the development of their hybrid businesses. Within this one year period, our fellows, as we call them, are given the opportunity to test and redevelop, redesign their businesses for better, to strengthen their models through the provision of monthly financial stipend, coaching, mentorship, and support, technical support services, professional development services, and business simulations. We do this in a few ways. First is our training. So our training takes place over one year. We do this in quarters, quarterly sprints. First quarter, our fellows are learning about the hybridization of their business model. And this is what makes our incubator unique. We wanted to ensure that the businesses that we were developing in the incubator were not only making some form of economic impact, but were also contributing in a way that benefited society socially. So all of our businesses were aligned with the SDGs or AU goals. When you have a business that has a traditional for-profit model, how do you then transform that into a business that is hybridized? Meaning that there's a unification of the social impact as well as the commercial value. This is what was critical for us. So our fellows first dive in deeply into understanding how to realign their business models in a way that enables them to not only generate revenue, but also make impact. In their second quarter, we focus on customer acquisition. Now this is the opportunity for our fellows to get to know deeply the types of customers they're attempting to attract and keep within the market. Then our third quarter transitions our fellows in the part that's more critical, finances, financial modeling, they need to understand the numbers and the projections that are going to lead them to success or areas in which they need to recognize that may not be the best ways in which they should pivot their businesses. Lastly, in the final quarter, the final stretch of the incubator, our fellows begin to focus on telling their story, getting the audience to know exactly how they deliver value after they've tied in all of the key learnings, enabling them to strengthen their business model. So this is what we call our pitch session. So this consists of them getting support and insights into the marketing, branding, and of course, all of the visual and of course, verbal narratives that it helped them to tell their story in a better way, in a beautiful package. I want you to hear from those entrepreneurs today, their stories, where they are now, and where they plan to go. My name is David Bueno, co-founder of Beautiful Story Studios, 2019 alumnus of AVI. Beautiful Story Studios is a production company that tells the African story. Um, people might think that we tell the authentic African story, but our truth is to tell the diverse stories of Africa because our stories evolve, they progress, and culture is, in its purest form is multifaceted. And our purpose is to be able to take this culture and put it in the context of film and document our history, tell our story, tell our narrative, and let the entire world know who we are. Hello, my name is Comfort Apia, AVI alumnus 2019. I run Eco Fashion, an eco-friendly company that is providing holistic recycling solutions to plastic waste in Ghana by upcycling plastics into bags and accessories. In my second year in Ashesi, I decided that I was going to work for myself right after school. So AVI was just like what I said for myself coming through. Hi, my name is Kevin Blankstein. Um, AVI 2019, um, co-founder of Swoove. I joined the AVI in 2019 because um, for me, it provided a seamless transition from being a student um, to also running my own venture. My name is Nature Akutu, 2019 alumnus of AVI. I'm the founder of VFarms. So VFarms is an eco-friendly farm that produces high quality and affordable lean pork 
for underserved communities in the southern part of Ghana. We are also serving as a catalyst to motivate other youth and graduate into the agricultural sector. And this is towards ensuring food security in the country and on the continent. My name is Derek Omari and I'm the CEO of TechEra. TechEra is a technology-based social enterprise that accelerates inclusive development in Africa through technology. Before AVI, Eco Fashion, we just had an idea and we had a, pro a, a product prototype. Through AVI, we're able to test the prototype, make sales, get feedback and improve upon the product. And now we are a full-blown business after AVI. We are four in the Eco Fashion team currently. And for the past three years, we've been making our products manually. But this year, we invested in plastic recycling machines and we are getting ready to release our first new line of products produced with our plastic recycling machine in January 2022. Eco Fashion has received some funding after AVI which went into renovating of our shop and also obtaining our plastic recycling machine. Before AVI, Beautiful Stories had two modules that I essentially called the Future Model and the Now Model. Uh, the Now Model basically was what I was doing, uh, having to live gig after gig sort of um, but the future model had a much broader perspective of being able to work on feature documentaries feature films um, you know having to move on to work on projects like uh, Black is King with Beyonce where I was the cinematographer for that was one big highlight of my time in AVI and there were several other projects that came after that that also was in the direction of the future model. At the time I joined AVI, school was just a sheet of paper. Um, it was a, just an amalgamation of all my, um, my capstone projects. Um, but during the AVI process or during the AVI period, we went through different, and different transitions and a couple of pivots, a couple of validations done. Um, so by the time we're leaving or by the time school was exiting the program, we had about 300 deliveries a month. Um, currently, we're doing about 1,500 um, deliveries since then, um, month of month. We're working on a distribution project with a large commerce operator. Um, also working on piloting our food platform. Um, and we're doing that also on a B2B level with some chains in, in Accra. And yes, we are also at a point where we are about to pivot our business to help us um, better serve the needs of our customers and our clients. That's going to be happening in 2022. We have received some form of investment, uh, mainly from Catalyst Fund and MEST, um, and we're using that to scale up business and grow, um, to cover other regions, and also to look at the Nigerian market over the next couple of years. Before I joined AVI, I remember clearly, I think my business, we were just a team of four people. Um, just recently, in our last count, we were about 12 people. Clearly, there's been a growth, an immense growth. We clearly have more structures than we used to have. We have better accounting procedures, policies, bookkeeping. Um, things are well documented. And we definitely have a better image than we used to have. And we've been able to secure some good grant financing from different partners internationally. Um, we won the American Society of Mechanical Engineers iShow program, which was a hardware social innovation ceremony which was held across Africa virtually and we emerged the winners. We won some good grants from that. We also recently won um, the Silicon Valley Donor Fund for Africa grant which has been helping us guide the development of some of our projects. TechEra is working on a number of interesting projects, some of which includes helping people have access to water resources. Um, like I mentioned, our focus is on accessibility and so we have created a solution that is ensuring that homes do not run out of water by being able to detect when water levels are running down and allowing them to pay for water and receiving it just in time before they run out. Before AVI, my farm was not that big and then we are, we are lacking some facilities. But after joining, uh, after joining AVI, I've managed to get some funding from people and competition where I help, I help, it helps improve our delivery of services and then expand our farm. And we also kind of started uh, creating market access for other smallholder big farmers. So we got some funding in the form of grants and loans from 
uh, institution, including Ashesi Enterprise Center and Path COVID-19 Relief Program, and then African Leadership Academy Business Competition. And all these funds has helped us significantly. We have expanded our backward integration model, where we initially got a uh, five acres of land for maize farming and we are in the process of getting another 15 acres of land which will help us uh, produce maize in order to reduce our cost of operation significantly. Incubators like AVI are super helpful because they help small businesses like mine to actually build traction to attract other investors Small businesses usually do not attract a lot of investors and so incubators like AVI opens up such businesses to investors, help them to build the traction that bigger investors need to invest in such businesses. So I think incubators, incubators are super, super helpful. AVI was very instrumental in helping us come up with our first iteration of the um, school was. Um, at the time it was a delivery recommendation platform and I think we wouldn't have been able to stumble onto that if it wasn't for the research that we did um, during the AVI period. Um, yes, we pivoted from that model because again, by running it out, we realized the flaws in that model, but it was the stepping stone for where we are and actually is a stepping stone for where we're going to. Incubators like AVI help startups in Ghana. For me in person, AVI has helped me connect with industry experts and then network it with other young entrepreneurs across the country. Incubation in Ghana is definitely still a new thing. Um, there is a lot to do in the space and I am very glad that AVI has set an example for many hubs and many entrepreneurship um, support ecosystems. Being in an incubator eases you into the process with some guidance. You're not just going in blind, you're not just going in with no idea of what you're doing, but with a support system, with other entrepreneurs doing what you're doing, with other mentors doing what you're doing, with funding for what you want to do, and the opportunity for much bigger funding, to know how to speak to investors, to know how to speak to clients, to know how to navigate your space as an entrepreneur is a very skilled process that you need to learn. So being a part of such a team just brings you into that environment in a much natural way. AVI is currently a fully fledged program under the Ashesi Entrepreneurship Center. The Ashesi Entrepreneurship Center is the hub for all entrepreneurial activities in the Ashesi ecosystem. AVI operates in such a way that we do not leave our fellows alone even after they have completed the AVI program. We provide opportunities like the AVI X program where fellows are allowed to apply to get access to funding opportunities to scale up their businesses. AVI is currently funded by the Mastercard Foundation. In addition, we collaborate with some projects under the foundation like the Scholars Entrepreneurship Fund where we train some of the fellows under the AVI program.